Birmingham police are investigating a string of shootings in our area. Switching gears now, we go to CBS 42's Robert Sherman, who is speaking with Birmingham police and the family of one of the victims as they investigate. Gregory Snodgrass says that his son, Gregory Snodgrass Jr., had a smile that could brighten anyone's day. He kept his teeth white. He did more brushing of teeth than anybody today. But the last time Snodgrass saw his son's grin was Friday. Sunday morning, Birmingham police say that Michael Damon Daniels shot and killed two people. One was 45-year-old Octavia Dorch, and the other was 28-year-old Snodgrass Jr. That's my mother's only grandson. The last name Snodgrass was my dad's name. Since I'm my mother's only son, she, won't have, she didn't have any more children. Now she can't have any more grandchildren or great-grandchildren. The shootings of Snodgrass Jr. and Dorch kicked off a bloody week here in Birmingham. Wednesday, Birmingham police tell us they responded to four different shootings. And then Thursday, just before noon, Birmingham police tell us they responded to another shooting, this one on the corner of 23rd Street and 9th Avenue South, where a man was found lying dead in the street. We, we are taking a much stronger approach towards these cases. We're after these suspects and, and we're going to remain on these cases until we can get a resolution. Snodgrass says he's worried about how his son's death will impact his mother. She's in her 90s and spent two months in the hospital after suffering an aneurysm. That's when they all became closest. When we think we're going to lose my mother, we lost my son.